hay seems to be the deal in northeast Oklahoma. Wherever you look, there seems to be a lot of these round bales sitting around. Cattlemen have bailed up to feed their livestock through the winter. We had very good conditions this year, conducive to uh, producing some very high quality forage. A lot of people come into our office and ask us, hey, should we uh, sample our hay or should we find out what the protein is? And, and the answer is yes, we, we need to uh, get it analyzed for you. What we have in our office is we have a hay probe here that you can come in and check out and come and sample your hay. We will send it in. And of course, we'll send you back the analysis of what your hay is made up of, basically of what the protein is and the total digestible nutrients. It'll get into uh, also uh, energy factors and things with the, with the report. What we will give you is, is it'll give you a, also a, a dry matter content that we can uh, give you for your hay. It's very important that you look at your hay as a cattleman because of the reason that uh, we uh, have to uh, tell you that uh, we know that a, a, a hay sample at 8% protein will carry a dry pregnant or a dry cow through the winter. However, uh, anything lower than that, we would probably want to bump up with some protein additive or cake, whatever it may, you may feed as a, as a protein additive. Uh, the way that we tell people to sample their hay is, is again, you can come in and check this out from our office. Basically do a random sample and you can see all of the hay bales that are in this field that we're going to uh, take a sample of today. And uh, when we take a sample, we're going to uh, just basically take the uh, sampler and we're going to uh, push it into the hay as far as we can uh, get the sample and you will pull it back out. We have this dial rod that will go down inside the tube and it'll basically knock our sample that came down in here. This will give you a good opportunity to look and see what you, exactly you have inside that because when we look at forage quality, we want to look at what's in there, uh, the palatability of the product. When you eat something at home, you want it to taste good and the same thing with our cattle. You want something to taste, they want something that's going to be palatable that they can chew and they can digest. Uh, good Bermuda hay is good and soft, it's not sticky, it doesn't have a lot of stems, and it has a lot of uh, leaf content to it. One of the things that we talk about is, is leaf content because that's one of the major things that we want to keep on the into the hay. And one of the major contributors to that is harvest practices, how, whether it got rained on or if you rake it too many times, it can cause the loss of leaves and degrade or make your uh, sample go down in protein, what have you. Basically, after we get a good random sample of the hay, we can take it out and look at it yourself, take a sample, see what you think of your own hay, see what it looks like, how it smells, how it feels, some of the texture of the hay. You can turn it up, pour it back out in your hand, and just smell of it. Smell is a good indication of the quality of the hay it has a good grass smell to it. It doesn't have a uh, molded smell because mold deteriorates the uh, basic uh, makeup of the hay. So the other thing that you can do is after you do this, you can get online and find this publication 2117. It's written by uh, Darren Redfern and Highland Zhang and it talks about hay quality and goes into a lot of good information that uh, you can take and read and use at home and use in your own uh, cattle herd. So uh, next time you think about it, you think, uh, well, do I need a hay sample? Yes. Come and see us.